disembark. I don't want to. Beautiful Seattle this morning. Not inside over here. I think I have a thousand pictures from our first time on the balcony. I'm not sure. We were sailing away pretty soon, so. Okay, so we're headed to the main dining room to grab some breakfast because, I mean, we have hours, so we're not in any kind of rush to get off the ship. And uh, there you go. So we'll see you in the main dining room. We have never done this. We've never had breakfast in the main dining room on disembarkation day. Uh, I don't want it to be disembarkation day. No. All right, this is it. We're saying bye. 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 Uh, it is so sad. Alrighty, heading to breakfast on disembarkation day. All right, here's my breakfast for disembarkation day. I went ahead and splurged on some hash browns, and Rob got some sauce, uh, sausage and pancakes. Yummy. It's raining out here. People getting off the ship down there. You can see them on the gang on the platform there. So we've just left our room. We are in the elevator bank, right outside our room, in case we didn't show that already. Like, our room is right there. And here's the elevator bank, great location, easy to get to. There were some times it was loud in the room. We kept hearing some banging, which now I think is the elevator. So, oh, thank you. All right, elevator all to ourselves, like twice today already. So Rob's got the big bags for me. Okay, so we couldn't hear them dismissing the floors, the decks. So we're good to get off the ship, so we're gonna head on out. Oh, Carnival Legend, we have loved you. Can't wait to sail you again. My water bottle went flying. Cannot wait to sail you again. In case you didn't get your pictures, you can grab them, purchase them. They're not free. There's the thing to do, just wait till the last minute to get off and, I mean, we have till 10.30, but, or 10 or something like that. All right. See you later, loves. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Uh. All right. It's a little drippy, a little wet, a little rainy. One last look at the beautiful ship. She kept us safe, well fed, and warm this week. Okay, so when we got off the ship, got through customs, it took like two minutes to get off the ship, go through customs, and get out here. Um, we ran into a, a transfer company, so we booked a transfer, it was $28 a person, yep. so a little pricey. Their Uber was less, but um, it's here, it's quicker. Go yeah, out. don't have to go out and wait and all of that stuff. For so Uber. for the Uber, right? So it's right here. We're good to go. And it's raining. And it is raining. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we'll be driving or riding. Okay, we're on the bus. Let's see how this does. I'm sure it's fine. She called it. Can you call? I think. Oh wow! Yeah, we got allow you more time just to ensure that you get there not in a rush or a panic. If you're flying Alaska, you'll be taking a tram out to Terminal N most likely. There are a couple flights that go out of the main gates. So 
for the most part, everybody else flies out of the. All right, so we're off the bus. We're coming through this little terminal, and we are headed to level four. They said, getting ready for our five-hour wait till our flight, and then a six-hour flight home. <laughs> That's all right, totally worth it. Okay, so we just got in line. We dropped our bag. She printed our boarding pass. It took like three minutes. Um, zipped right on through. Now we are looking for our gate. And we are ready to go. We are B6. We are quite a few hours early. It is 10.30. I believe that's current time, Seattle time. Oh, it's that way? It is 10.30. Our flight is at boards at like 2.40. So we're good. All right. Cool little airplanes there in the lobby area. It's pretty cool. There's the pre-check sign. All right. All right. There we go. I shall see you in a moment. That was a bit of an ordeal, but we made it. Took a little time. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm sure there'll be a Starbucks in the other terminal, hopefully. So we found the train down two escalators with luggage. With luggage. Rob took the luggage for me, thankfully, because I, I am terrified. I can go up escalators, I'm okay with that. Going down, I don't know what my deal is, but it freaks me out, so here we are at the train. No, no people. Or there's people. No, no people. Okay, so we're gonna go see if we can't find like some food or something. We did have breakfast, but it was a while ago, and uh, we won't be off the plane until midnight. We board like two something, so we kind of want to eat something before we go. Now I have plenty of snacks in my bag, which I didn't eat because I didn't stay keto on this plane. So, I mean, on this cruise. Nope, nothing down here to eat. I think we have to go to the main terminal, or the main. I'm not taking the little train back. We'll just be hungry. We'll see. Okay. I think we're going to have some burgers. They have french fries. Okay, so. Love you. I had a relish burger lounge at SeaTac International Airport. And it was $18.69 for one burger. That was for the burger and $2 for a gluten-free bun. Ordinarily, I would get it bunless, but I've been so bad this week anyway. Why can't people throw their trash away? All right, so let me get you situated and then we'll try it so I can let you know if this $18.69 burger is good. I'm sure it is. It's all like grass-fed, fancy stuff. Um, I really appreciate the fact that they had a gluten-free bun. That is so unusual. Hopefully it's good and not a cold bun. Um, and uh, what else was there? Oh, and we I spent $5.25 on two drinks, a lemonade and a water. But um, again, you're in an airport, captive audience. Hold on. Oh, there are french fries too. Oh. All right, it's massive. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this burger. And I feel like my hands are filthy. Yeah, it's a cold bun. Oh my. That's a massive burger. Oh, yummy. But it has pickles, ketchup, uh, tomatoes, lettuce, some sort of sauce on it. I don't know what that sauce is. It didn't say anything about that. And maybe it's a relish. Oh, that's the pickle relish. Right. Ready for a big old bite? <laughs> this big mouth will fit around this. Bun looks delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm 
going to crave this burger. I'd give you another $18 for this burger. Delicious. It's really, really good. So where by Terminal B? We were at Relish Burger and Lounge. Totally worth it. <laughs> $18. Let's have this french fry. It's a french fry. I'm gonna eat my burger. Well, it is 2.11, 2.12, and our plane is here. We board at 2.30ish, around in there. There she is. Oh, we're ready to be home. <laughs> But the wait hasn't been bad. I'm downloading uh, to my iPad videos to watch. So, you know, no big deal. On the plane. A little bit hectic, but we got on the plane. So just remember when you're boarding Spirit or any plane, they have zone, boarding zones for a reason. We are in the Vegas airport. Look, there's slot machines right in the airport. Oh my goodness. So, so different. Let's see what we can find. All right. So we have Las, Las Vegas. Nevada. I think. I couldn't get one. Yeah, I think we'll do a big one too. There are passenger safety information cards in the seat backs in front of you that illustrate the safety equipment in this aircraft. You may use the card to follow along. Federal regulations require compliance with this information, as well as all criminal instruction, light information signs, and posted black cards.
were home. <laughs> So I just wanted to pop in here real quick and tell you thank you so much for watching this series with us. Thank you for spending our first time in Alaska with us. It was such an amazing cruise. I highly recommend it. We loved every second of it. It was so incredibly special. I recommend it to anyone. So up next, you will see our review of the Carnival Legend that will be here um, in a couple of days after this video or I'll link it up here in an iCard after it has gone live um, from this video <laughs> for this video. At the end of this video, I will link um, my outfit of the day and my packing video for Alaska. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about that, so that will be linked in there also. But do remember, we traveled in early May, so it was a bit chillier than it would be in July or August. So keep that in mind, just so you know. <laughs> anyway, but um, we had a wonderful time. It was such a pleasure to travel with Ricky and Laura and D and J of Paro DJ, which pair of DJ is also linked in the description box for you. Uh, we had a wonderful, wonderful cruise. So thank you so much for joining us. Up next, we have a very big special event coming up in Nashville with a few other channels, uh, several other channels, and um, we're very excited about that. More details to come on that, so stay tuned to our lives on Friday nights. And also, we have the Carnival Valor coming up out of New Orleans this September 2019, where we will once again be sailing with Pair DJ and other friends. And then finally this year for 2019, we have the Carnival Freedom again in a suite where we will be traveling with friends again. So be sure to stay tuned to that one for eight days to Half Moon K. We are very excited about that cruise as well. So that's just for this year. We already have, I believe, 11 cruises booked for the next two years after that. So we are very, very excited. So stay tuned. We hope you'll subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up. Be sure to hit the not notification bell so that you'll know when we upload our videos and new content. But we also do weekly vlogs. We do travel vlogs, weekly vlogs, cooking vlogs. I do unboxings, fashion, video, fashion videos. We do a little bit of makeup, a little bit of skincare. You name it we do it here. And of course we have pets. So we have pet videos as well. There you go. All right. Again, thank you very, very much for watching. We surely enjoy traveling along with you and we surely enjoy sharing with you and we love hearing from you. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.